To try to get more forwards in the box with Ryan Gauld actually moving up alongside Brian White. And for Minnesota, they'll start in their favorite 4-2-3-1 with Luis Amaria up front. Club record, shutout streak. Need about 17 more minutes to get to that point for a single season shutout streak. And we are underway here at BC Play Stadium. Sung Bin gets things going for Minnesota United. Look. For Trap, gave it up. Chance for the Caps here. It's called the hit for Brian White. White all alone versus DC. Clear. White slides it home. to see a course it's very tight but look just gives it in for will trap who misplays the ball completely and kubas who's always on top of his defensive midfielders on the opposite side plays through the perfectly weighted ball for brian white and then white can pick up his head and side foot it beyond dane st Clair, and he gives the white caps the opener 17 minutes in Closer as an option. VT keeping an eye on him at the outside of the area. Into the box. Rattles around. A catch! And in the back of the net. Michael Boxall finds it as it rattled to the ground off a couple of players, and the central defender is able to get Minnesota on the board. And put the pressure on Takaoka. You see Lud, no foul there as it's misplayed by Takaoka. And then Michael Boxall from a center back position just pokes it over the line. There you see the drop from Takaoka under the pressure from Lud, but not a foul. And Minnesota really against the run of play here a little bit has equalized just over the half hour mark. That should stay as Boxall's goal despite the fact Veselinovic ultimately is the one that guides that across. Whitecaps in fast transition. Vite. Back for Gressel into the corner. Lawrence, now back for White! And a save made by Dane St. Clair. Spectacular! What a save from the Canadian there. And this is one of the reasons that Adrian Heath thinks he's one of the best keepers in the league and could play a part in this stadium. Of course, BC plays hosting the World Cup in 2026. Ryan White will go in search of another and probably feels like he should have three as he gets things started for the Whitecaps here in the second half. there to take it and he will drives it across the face of goal Brown puts it back into play Veselinovic taps that for pulls rattles through and across the line the Whitecaps with a messy set piece but a goal nonetheless and it's 2-1 for Vancouver and Brian White looks like he's in agony here but he was instrumental in helping knock that one over the line another good ball in from Gressel as it always is away from the goal so Brown can get on it not that well dealt with by Kamar Lawrence and then just putting his body on the line, White clobbers into the goalkeeper, Dean St. Clair. I don't think that's a foul on the white cap center forward. I think two players challenging for the ball there. Veselinovic rises highest. And then in the collision, it ends up going off White. Well, he scored four goals in 87 minutes, his first 87 minutes of MLS play, including a goal last year. He was on a hot streak, talking about a streaky player, but on the line. Give it away to Gold. For Betcher, Simon Betcher cuts it in! Betcher! Brilliant! Quickest in MLS history to four career goals. And he doesn't take much time here, does he? That's got to be a record. As he sniffed out an equalizer, and he takes advantage of that bad back pass there. After Gold sets him up perfectly with a little touch with the outside of the foot. Beautiful little chip there to put it into the path of Betcher, so he just has to swing through it with the left foot. And the Whitecaps now with a two-goal lead. Blackman pushed up to get the steal, but it's right back for Minnesota. Longwane again, turns to the middle, finds an open Robin Ludd. Ludd feeds that in, Sungbin tucks it in! And Minnesota's within a goal. 
on a fabulous pass from Robin Ludd, who makes good on the giveaway. Absolutely tremendous pass from Robin Ludd. And given the time near the edge of the box, no white cap players on him. It's Kubis, who's been draped all over the center of midfield all evening long, giving the distance to Ludd to pick out Song Bin. And he's able to take and turn and wonderfully slaughtered home beyond Takuoka, the keeper there with no chance in close. Excellent, incisive finish. Time to get another one. Over the top for Garcia. First touch is there, and a save made by Takaoka. Well, Takaoka really had to retreat there and get his feet right in order to stick out that right foot. As he times his run really well there. That's a great ball over the top, too, from Lawrence. Just that one touch sets him up, decides to play with a right foot rather than with a left. I think that was the right decision. Takaoka, though, can just stab out a leg and make the stop. The loons are flying now. Really rallied, hasn't he? Takaoka through for Betcher. Onside, Betcher holds up, waiting for support. Vite denied by a Tapia save. Minnesota's alive. Um, Tapia's who does not give up on it after it looked as if Betcher, who does so well here to get in behind Tapias, had sat down the goalkeeper and set up point blank Pedro Vite. Doesn't get all that much on it, doesn't put it around Tapias. Tracking down Boxall. Ball's past Tybert into the middle. Sung Bean. But this is curls just wide of the corner. What an effort from the edge of the area, just where he would want it, and that is not far off of nestling in the top corner, and he knows it's Song Bin. That was a chance so wide open. I think the Whitecaps and Vanni Sartini will be pulling their hair out. A chance at one end, comes back the other way, and finally the final whistle, and a win for the Whitecaps. A really good game of football to watch.